here with Jaguar second year tight end Brenton Strange and Brenton uh, a little bit of a exciting practice today right under the under the air conditioning in here after a couple hot days take me through what you have before you hit that off day uh, so I mean it's a competitive practice that's what we want we want to come out here and we want to be competitive because if you're not being competitive at the end of the day you're not gonna you're not gonna get better and that's that's the only way you can get better so uh, we take a we take a lot of pride in being a competitive team and coming out here and challenging each other and finding ways to get better so a little bit of a uh, excitement there later in the uh, the practice days that show you're just ready to kind of hit somebody else other than your own teammates yeah it's nice that it's a game week now and uh, we get to go out and play somebody in a different jersey but that's just that's just football man and like I said we're just competing and trying to get better so that's that happens you know we're brothers at the end of the day brothers second year in the league what what surprised you most about the NFL last season uh, you know, I would probably just say the longevity of the NFL season. I, I don't know if that uh, mentally I was uh, completely ready for that, but this year it's a lot different because I can come in and I know what to expect. I know what I'm going to do at practice. I know the details of everything. And, and I've, I've prepared my mind in the offseason for, for a, a long season and, and what I'm going to do in the season. So uh, I'm, I'm very happy with my progress. You always hear the speed of the game is the biggest difference between college and the NFL. Length of the game, though, probably not as uh, much as prominent as some people, but yeah. to you it was, huh? Yeah, I would, I'm saying like length of the season, yeah. like the entire season. Uh, I would definitely say that there are a lot, uh, every athlete is elite on the mm -hmm. field, but I mean, I, I went to a very prestigious school, Penn State, so uh, I, I played guys like Micah Parsons, I played guys like Odafe Hillway, like I played Yitor Gross Mato, so uh, Jair Brown, so it's, I've, I've played against a lot of good players, so I'm, I'm used to playing against guys like that. So it's, it's just everybody's a five-star in the NFL, right, as opposed yeah. to college? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. What um, receiving wise last year you had one touchdown. What do you want to improve on the most? Is it receiving? Is it blocking? What do you kind of want to take that next step in year two? Yeah, so for me, I mean, I, I look at myself as an all-around tight end. I look at myself as a guy that's very versatile. Anything that the coaching staff asks me to do, I come in and, and uh, do it to the best of my ability. So uh, I just want to continue to uh, get better in that all-around aspect, whether that's receiving, blocking, uh, pass pro and so uh, whatever the coaches want me to do, that's, that's what I'm, I'm willing to do. Some tight ends kind of get either typecast as a blocker or as a, as a pass catcher. Evan is kind of both of those guys, more focused on receiver. What have you taken out of a guy like Luke Farrell, who's more prominent as a blocker, and a guy like Evan, who is more prominent probably as a receiver? Yeah, that's the blessing of being in this tight end room. You have uh, two really good guys. Obviously, Evan's one of the best tight ends all around in the NFL, and then Luke is one of the best blocking tight ends in the NFL. So uh, I'm, I'm very thankful to have two great vets like that who I can come in and ask any question that I need or hit up on a on an off day and be like yo bro like what's going on like um, I'm thinking about this play like what do you think about this play so I'm, I'm very thankful for those guys and everything that they've taught me and our relationship and everything for them. Evan goes to like a tight end you camp what and comes back I've seen you talking to Evan quite a bit throughout training camp what are you trying to pick from his brain a guy that was a first round draft pick a guy that's been to the Pro Bowl a guy that's had an unbelievable receiving as a pass catcher what are you trying to pick out of his brain during practices? Yeah he's done it all and I'm like I said I'm very thankful for him uh, but some Something that I like a lot in Evan's game is just his movements and how he gets in and out of his routes and things like that. So after practice, we've worked on uh, different drills to, to better my movements, getting out of, in and out of my breaks and uh, just different things, uh, how to set up a, a defender when you're breaking on a corner route or, or whatever it is, just the small details of everything that makes Evan so good. Because at the end of the day, we're all good out here. It's just the little details that separate the good from the great. What was your welcome to the NFL moment last year? My welcome to the NFL moment. <laughs> uh, that's tough right there. I mean, I'm, I've, uh, I've gotten hit pretty hard a couple of times, but I've also hit a lot of people hard a couple of times. So it's like, I know I belong here. Uh, but I would, I would just say probably just the first snap uh, of when we played the Colts last year. And it wasn't like it was necessarily anything bad or anything, but it's it's the intensity of the game. Everyone says the speed of the game, but it's the intensity. Each play really truly matters in the NFL because, you, like you said, you have so many elite athletes out there. So I, I would just say the intensity of the game is what really surprised me, and that was kind of my welcome to the NFL moment. Like, all right, we're here. I talked to Joshua Cephas during training camp practice. After training camp practice the other day, he said, man, being in the big stadium is one thing, but, you know, the Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes are coming here in one week, and I'm going to be, like, looking around like, wow, these guys are really here. I'm really in a game like yeah. this. Was it like you like that last year for you during your first preseason game? 
Yeah, most definitely. You you uh, come in here, and I, I would say more uh, when I first came and I got on the Jags and I'm with my first practice, and I'm like, man, I'm really playing with Evan Ingram. I'm really playing with Trevor Lawrence. I'm really playing with Reed, all those guys that were here, ETN. So uh, that was that was my thing. I was, I was kind of a little bit, like, starstruck because I've been watching these guys my whole entire life, and uh, I'm finally on a team with them. So it was it was a really cool moment for me.